if you want to go looking like this, to looking like this, or this, or this, or even this, then you're in the right place. Anyways, let's get straight to it. So the first thing you want to do is search up Tetra plus V9, and this is important. You want to make sure it's V9, otherwise it won't work because V8 is currently being discontinued. So you're going to go to the first link in GitLab, and make sure you download the Tetra plus uh, version whatever dot asar dot zip. Make sure you want to get this. Okay, now that you have this downloaded, I prob you probably have it in your files, I have it in my desktop. Uh, you want to extract all, and now you should have a file. This should contain your app.asar. Okay, so now you want to move this somewhere. Right click your Tetro desktop, wherever, and select open file location. This should open up your location, and you should see a folder named resources, and it should contain your old app.asar file. You want to delete that and move in the new one into there. And that is basically all you need to do to download Tetra Plus. Now, if you want all the skins, sound effects, custom boards, and more, uh, you just have to search up Tetra Skins. Let's just do that. And you have to go to this link, u.have.fail slash Tetra Plus. And this should contain everything that you need to customize your game. Now let's go over the Tetra Plus customization tool. So in order to change your skin, you just simply hit change skin and you want to scroll down to the bottom and upload your skin file, whichever one it is. I'm going to do my classic basic.png. Set that skin and you can close this and it should uh, change to your new skin. In order for it to actually go in effect though, you have to um, let's minimize this and then hit F5 in the Tetro client or on the browser. Or actually, you can't even do this on the browser. What am I thinking? Uh, just hit F5 on your client and you should refresh. And now if you go back to Zen, you should have your skin. And don't mind the background. Uh, it's quite blinding, I should say. I'll show you how to do that later, but that's how you change your skin. Same thing for sound effects. Download the sound effect from the website and then upload it in here. Now to get all this animated stuff, um, you just simply have to scroll down and select manage data slash import tpse. You just want to install a tpse file with like motion graphics or any animated background in the website. And then you simply do choose file and then choose the tpse file. Um, now there's a few things that I really like about this is enabling custom maps. And basically how you do that, once you have that enabled and you refresh the client, you go to solo, custom, meta, and then select the use custom map. Once you have that on, you can just select the custom map string, you open the editor, and you can basically edit however you want. So I'm going to set the board height to 20, and I'm going to do a little pixel art, because why not? And there you go, I have my nice little pixel art. Um, but in order for this to actually work, you need to copy this entire string here, and also you can um, have... Uh, you know, whatever pieces you want in your bag. I'll just do a bunch of eyes. There you go. I'll, I'll put a bunch of eyes in here. So copy that string, paste it into this thing, and then start. And there you go. There's my custom game. Or custom map, I should say. And that is basically all that you need to know about Tetrio Plus. Um, if you learned something new, please hit that like button, and please subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.